Hi, these are my favourite pair of jeans and the belt loop has recently broken. So in this video I'm going to show you how I would repair a broken belt loop using Sushiko. The first thing you're going to need is a piece of denim of a similar weight and stretch if your jeans have any stretch in them. And then we just need to cut it a little bigger than the area we're going to patch. I've just used some pinking shears here to stop any fraying from happening. I'm going to line it up on the inside to cover the hole and then I'm using a hand sewing needle and a brightly coloured thread just to baste the fabric patch into place. So I'm using really long stitches to secure the patch into place so that I can sew over it. I prefer doing this to pins most of the time just because you've got no worry of accidentally stabbing yourself whilst you're working. Once the patch is in place, I've got a long Sushiko needle here, which is nice and sharp, and some Sushiko cotton, all threaded up, ready to go. Working through denim can be really tricky. You'll see throughout this video that I do struggle to pull the needle through, and I really should have been using a thimble, but I couldn't find mine. So if you are gonna attempt this kind of mend, then I would definitely recommend a thimble. And then all I'm doing here is starting some small running stitches along the area of damage. And because of the amount of denim that we're working through, I'm just taking this really slowly. I'm not trying to pick up too many stitches. Um, the main thing is just to make sure that I'm sewing through the fabric of the jeans as well as the patch underneath. And then I'm going to keep working all the way up to the waistband and I've staggered these stitches because I'm going to cross them once I've finished all these horizontal lines. You can do this any way you want, you could have them parallel, you could have them completely random. Um, I quite like having them staggered because it feels slightly organic but with a bit of a pattern to it as well. And that's all the horizontal stitches done. And you can see on the back of the patch there that the thread has gone through and secured the patch into place, which is great. And now I can pull out those red basting stitches. The patch is secure and in place, so I don't need those anymore. Now it's time to start embellishing those lines. So for me, it's just adding these crosses to the initial lines. But as I said, you could do any pattern here. You could just stick to the lines. You could do another sort of geometric design. It's quite a small area, so nothing's gonna take too long, which is quite nice. The main thing to remember here is just to take it really slowly. As you can see with these crosses now, I'm only working one stitch at a time, just to make sure that I am going through all the layers of the fabric and it's as comfortable as possible. The main goal here is just to really reinforce the worn through area of denim. So that hole from the belt loop had actually caused, it's only a small hole, but it had actually caused quite a bit of damage and the rest of the surrounding fabric was feeling a bit weak. So the combination of the fabric patch underneath and all of these stitches is really going to reinforce the fabric and make it stronger. And this is all just preparation ready for me to then reattach the belt loop. Once all of those cross stitches are finished, I'm just going to turn the work over and you can see the inside here. And I'm just going to cut off these remaining threads and then knot them. I'm not too worried about weaving them in here, which you'll have seen me do in previous videos. Now it's time to actually get the belt loop reattached. 
So I'm lining it up here. As I said before, working through lots of layers of denim can be really hard. And actually this bit was really tricky and I really wish I could have found my thimble for this step, but I'm just taking it one layer of denim at a time where I can. As you can see, I've tied a knot in the end of my thread and pulled it through just one layer of the belt loop. And I'm going to add a cross, the same as on the waistband. And it's just a little detail before I start the really heavy stitching, getting through all of those layers of denim. I'm actually going to make that cross twice and as you can see I really am taking this one layer at a time so I'm actually pulling the belt loop back out of the way again to go through the fabric of the jeans and then back again and that's fine I'm just pulling it all tight once I'm happy that it's all in the right place. It just makes it easier to get through all of those layers in a comfortable way. Now I want to make sure that the belt loop is really securely attached to the jeans. As you can see, that small cross stitch has done something, but there's still some wiggle room which we need to get secured. So I'm going to use the turn under on the belt loop that you can see there. And I'm just going to do a few whip stitches. So I'm just going through that belt loop seam allowance and then down through the denim of the jeans and then back up again. And I'm going to do that all the way along the belt loop and then come up again on the other side of the belt loop and do the same thing. Just going through the seam allowance, as I said, because it makes it easier to stitch through, but it really helps to connect and secure the belt loop to the jeans. Once I've finished doing that, I'm going to push my needle back down and through to the inside of the jeans and again, tie the tail thread off with a few knots and then just trim off any excess. And there you have it. That's the belt loop secured into place and the fabric underneath reinforced with some sashiko as well. I really like this kind of repair. I do this to most of my belt loops that get damaged. It happens more often than you think. And you can see that the belt loop is nice and securely held into place. And it's just a nice tiny detail now, which I quite like having, especially on denim. It just works really well. I hope you like this video. I'd love to know if you have any belt loops that you try to repair after this. If you follow me on Instagram, then send me a photo over there or let me know in the comments here how you got on or what kind of pattern that you decided to stitch into place. I'd love to see them.